In this episode, we'll make the settings menu. So let's get started. So first of all, import the settings menu right from the assets. Link in the description. And here we have the costumes. So first of all, you have the settings menu layout. We have two layouts. Like one has the buttons on and one has the buttons off. We have three settings. FX, which is like the background cookie glow or the cookies falling in the background. Then we have SFX, which is sound effects, which is basically only the cookie. But if you have more sound effects in your game, you can just turn them on and off as well then we have music which is in the background this music and yeah then we have the background separated which is named background then we have setting effects on then we have sfx on then we have music on then we have effects off sfx off and music off which is basically setting one on setting two on setting three on and so on setting one off setting two off setting three on. then we have the close button before we start coding in the settings menu we need to go to start menu and fix some things so when you actually play the game you might have noticed this that if you open this how to play menu and you click on play the game actually starts which should not be the case so to fix that you have to just go to play button and just put here if then an equal to operator and then put how to play menu open is equal to zero and duplicate this three times because we'll use it three times and put this entire script here and put it back here in the play button then we have the settings button do the same for it and put it back and the third place is help button just put it here and then put it here now they should fix that problem as you can see when i open the how to play menu i cannot play no more i have to close it to click on play now we'll start coding the settings menu so first of all make a list which will be called settings for all sprites click on ok uh, this settings list will store the settings like you can just add like three items to it like we have three settings so we will have three items so the first setting is fx so if this one this setting is one then the effects are on and if this setting is zero then effects are off and the same for sfx and music number two and three so for now i'll just set all of them to zero and now we can start the coding so when the green flag clicked hide when i receive start game even then hide and duplicate this when i receive and make a new message called open settings click on ok and then also hide now we'll add the build block we don't need to make it again because we already have it in shop so go to shop and drag it like this and here we have the build block now you can just put it here build 5 and start from 0 we have 5 clones like the background the 3 settings and a close button so 5 of them now we are coding settings menu inside the start menu so we need to make sure that we use the same method as we use for the help button like we use this variable how to play menu open so you can just set how to play menu open to one when we open settings and also make when i receive and make a new message called close settings make sure that we set how to play menu open to zero we should know that it's closed and also delete this clone now we can start coding the clones so when i start as a clone just put here go to front layer and show then if equal to operator clone number is equal to one so first one is background obviously we don't have much code for it so we'll just put it like this then we have the settings buttons so to make that you can just duplicate this and drag it outside and now we will not directly put this we'll make a block for this you can make a block called settings whatever you want and put your clone number and then an input for that then settings number then an input for that click on ok and put it here now you can just put this cnum like clone number input here and then we can start coding here so first of all we need to switch to the right costume and for that we can use this list like if it is one then the setting is on and if it is zero the settings is off so we can put it like forever you can just remove this block first of all forever then an fl statement and equal to operator if item the settings number put this input here if item settings number of settings is equal to one if the setting is actually on then it will switch to costume and and now next three joints here just like this put in the first one put setting in the second one put any number you want and in the third one put on and in this number input you can just put settings number just like this duplicate this put it here setting this s number and off so this will make sure that the setting actually updates according to the list now we need to make sure that when we click on it we can turn it on and off so to do that so we can just put click detection here with some effects so if else touching mouse pointer then we can add a basic effect like set brightness effect to negative 10 and duplicate this 
set brightness effect to zero then we can put click detection if mouse down wait until not mouse down and if touching mouse pointer now we can put our script here which is really simple so if else and then duplicate this and put it here so item s number of settings equal to one you can then just replace item then the settings number input of settings with zero so it will turn it off if it is on you can duplicate this and put it here and set here to one so if the setting is on it will turn it off if it is off it will turn it on that's all we need and now this block is ready you can just use it then put it here clone number equal to two settings is one clone number three settings number two clone number four settings number three and here we have all the setting buttons now we need the close button so you can just duplicate this entire script put it here remove this then remove this and put it back here and remove this so we have a button script ready here set clone number if clone number is equal to five and here you can just put switch to costume close button in the click detection you can just put your broadcast close settings and that's it we have the settings menu code ready now to make sure that the settings menu actually opens settings instead of playing the game you can just go to start menu and here go to settings button and just put here open settings and also wait until then an equal to operator how to play menu open is equal to zero now when we start the game and click on settings the settings menu actually opens now you can see we cannot click on play which is actually good then we have effects on off sfx on off music on off but that doesn't affect anything because you can see when the music is on yeah it does not work so to actually make it work you can just go to specific things and apply the specific settings first one is effects where do we have effects we have these two sprites as effects so i'll just turn this off if you want this you can just put the script here like the scripts will be different for both of them but i'll just go with this one so i want to turn off this cookie glow effect when effects are off so you can just put here an if else statement here then an equal to operator item one of settings is equal to one which means the setting is on then we put the script here and put a show block here and then else just put a hide block put it here now when you play the game and turn the effect off you can see there is no glow effect here now the second setting is sfx so sfx means sound effect which we have only in cookie for now so you can just go to cookie here we have the start sound button you can just put here if then an equal to operator item two of settings equal to one so if the sound effect settings is actually on just put this here so it will play the sound effect then put it back in and if it is off automatically it will not play the sound effect and the third setting is music so let me check the music music has a different script because we cannot just put the same code as the sound effect one because this is the start sound block and this one is until done block which is very different and we also have this audio on off script which will like clash with the setting script so to make all of it very simple we can just put here if else then an equal to operator item three of settings equal to one if it is one you can just put here set volume 200 duplicate this else set volume to zero and remove this block put it here now this is perfectly integrated with the sound on off button which is what we really want now if you play the game the music is off if i turn on the music it will turn on you can see it actually worked let's turn on sound effect and let's turn off the effect now you can see we have no effect but we do have the sound effect now if i go back to settings and actually turn on effect and sound effect we have both of them. If I just turn this off, we will have only the background effect. So you can see the settings are working. And yeah, that's it for the episode and the series. This was the last part of the series. If you have anything else, you can comment down below and maybe I'll make a part six adding those features. Otherwise, this is the last episode of this series. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.